Good evening, everyone. This is Maurice from the Triple M Model Railroad. I've recently been in the mood of um, bringing out, showcasing my um, some of my locomotives that I have uh, in my possession. And this one never got, really got the uh, light of day. And like my other stories, this particular engine has a story. And this, as if you are a railroad buff, you will understand that uh, this engine is the Pennsylvania 4464Q2. And this model has been um, has been out for at least four years and I've rarely had run this model and when I'm talking about rare I'm talking about I must have ran this model at least um, twice since I had it and it didn't go very far um, at the time I was running it on my table just to test it when I received it um, I never ran it at my uncle's layout. Um, uncle actually ran his. There's a video on that um, on our YouTube page as well. But this model, uh, this particular prototype, I have not. I just haven't run it. And it is such a beautiful model. I mean. This is my first brass model that I got from Broadway. Well, more or less is a hybrid. Part brass, part die cast. But mainly brass. And actually for the money, for what they ask, asking, it's really cheap compared to um, something like Overland models. I mean, the same model from Overland will most likely cost $3,000. And I mean, Yes, you do get excellent uh, quality and all that kind of stuff and details. But I also find that this particular model from Broadway does the same job. Um, but the beauty about it is it comes with a Dakota. As opposed to you have to put it in Dakota into a $3,000 model. Which I find kind of ridiculous. Now back to the story. How I got this engine. Um, basically, I had the engine on pre-order, and this was from Willis Hobbies, and this was back in 2011. And you know, as fate would have it, um, this is what happens when you don't take care of yourself. Um, around 2012, I have exploded my Achilles and I was out of work for several months and at the time uh, maybe a few months after the queue came out and I couldn't afford to get the queue out so the guys at Willis they were very, they were kind enough um, I believe my uncle convinced them you know, told them what my plight was, and they were kind enough to hold the model for just about a year. Uh, I wasn't able to pull this, take this engine out until 2013. And I believe it was January of 2013, I finally managed to get her out. And... I mean, there's actually, believe it or not, there is a video on this engine running at the hobby shop, um, at Willis Hobbies. It's not the best video, and I filmed it on my old Evo HTC phone, and the quality was basically crap uh, compared to these phones now. I'm filming this with my Galaxy... Um, my Galaxy S6 Plus Edge or whatever you may call it but 
and I mean light years better video I mean light years and I took it I just took it out I mean since I was on a roll I you know I had um did the big boy and and I saw this in the box and I was like you know what, let me take this out I haven't ran, run it in a while uh, matter of fact I have practically never ran it and it needs to be um, his legs stretched like the rest of the um, stuff that I have and it, it's a beautiful model it's really actually one of the best models I have to be honest when it comes to the quality of it I mean this thing is just about flawless the paint is flawless the parts are flawless everything is symmetrical I mean clean 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 very clean you know I handle this model with basically with kit gloves well actually like all of my models I handle with extreme care um, compared to some people that I know <laughs> that actually is professional and they and they scare me to death when they handle models so I don't like it when they touch them um, I'm not gonna name any names but they know who they are if they see this video but yeah this model is I mean shoot I can't imagine how much it's worth now it's probably worth like over a grand um, since Broadway's not making these anymore I mean I really wanted to that was my original plan um, to run it as a um, double header and I don't think they ran these as double headers I don't know I mean, uh, what I, the history of Pennsylvania didn't really, I didn't particularly, um, I don't know if my history is correct, I didn't think they particularly cared for this engine too much. I mean, technologically, uh, you know, technologically wise, you know, the wheel configurations were done, I mean, it's an interesting wheel configuration, that's one of the reasons why I got the engine. I mean, I waited such a long time for this engine to come out. I mean, they announced it back in 2008 or 2007, and they didn't release until like 2012. I mean, four years later. Um, but I, I kind of all over the place. I apologize. I mean, but the wheel configuration is very unique, and. Uh, so I believe the reasoning reasoning behind the wheel configuration was because of the rods if they um, less for example if it's like if this configuration was like a, a 2102 um, the rods have a tendency to flex at high speeds and slap or slam into the rails and so they came with a new idea instead of um, having it as a you know a, a, a 4104 configuration they broke it up into two I mean excuse me he's saying two on the Y 4464 four, so you know you have the four drivers the front and six drivers behind it uh, with separate uh, shoot tongue tied separate um, pistons rods configuration and this basically prevent the rods at high speeds from slamming into the rails I mean good idea it looks very unique I mean maintenance must have been a nightmare for these things but uh, I mean what do I know I mean I'm just assuming but without further ado um, I will actually run this thing I ran it before just to see how it runs and it ran pretty good I mean it ran pretty good out the box I mean I mean it's, it's very clean so uh, let's start her up if I remember which one it is. I think it's F6. Oh. Alright. 
good, very good. Alright. I think the light is on. Yeah, it's light on. Can't really tell with this super bright light above my head. But I have to use this light so you can actually see what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to set it for a reverse. And I'm going to pull her out very slowly. Now the smoke does work, but the problem right now is that there's a bubble in the um, smokestack. And once I blow it out, then the smoke will come out. So when I put it back, when, it, when I bring this engine back, I'll just blow into the smokestack and then there's smoke all over the place. As you can see, it runs extremely well. I mean, very slow. You know how I like slow engines. Slow and smooth. Now, if I was running on the layout, I wouldn't be running this slow. Unless it's in the yard or something. Okay, just doing a little bouncing act here. And yeah, I'm just getting close to that end. It's not that, it's still a distance though. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to put it forward. I actually changed the horn. Let's see if that works. Uh, let's see if it works. Yeah, on the Broadway's to change the horns or the whistle, it is actually F22. I was I never really liked the horn of the the original horn of the Q. I don't know, it sounds fine, but I just got kind of sick and tired of it. So I wanted something a little, little different. Well, actually, it's a lot different, to be honest with you. Very smooth operation. Even my big boy doesn't run this smooth. Actually, my 412 twos do, do not run as smooth. My Broadway 412 twos. And don't even sound as good, to be honest with you. I would do a little segment on that also. All right, let me stop it. All right, let me blow in. Blow in right here. Excuse the squeaky chair. All right. All right. Okay, let's see what happens. Go in reverse. Let's see that help. Actually... No. That's odd. Hmm. I'll try it again. Alright, I may have got it now. Let's see. There we go. Again, I'm using JT's Mega Smoke Fluid. 
And this thing smokes a lot. That's how I like it. What I find a little weird about these um, Broadways when it comes to their smoke units, they're not like the MTHs that they just constantly blowing smoke when the train is at idle. Idle, excuse me. So, I mean, it, they use a different type of mechanism to actually control their smoke. Um, what I notice about the up and coming um, turbine, actually, it is out. Um, I got mines um, um, in storage. Uh, actually, not in storage, but I have mines um, on the shelf at the hobby shop. Um, I can't get that thing out now. Too expensive to buy it all at once. I mean, again, I'm not a high roller, a big baller. Not yet, though. But I'm planning on to be, so I don't have to worry about putting stuff on the shelf anymore. Yeah, but I, if I want to hold on to these things, or try to attain them, I will have to put them on the shelf. So that S2 is coming. And I will do a thorough review on that when that baby finally comes home. And right now it's passing my two MTHs. Uh, the Veranda Project that I'm working on and also uh, my Dash 9 UP that my uncle had given to me for Christmas. Very nice gesture. And what I got for him, I built him actually a computer. All right. Okay. I think that's it. Oh yeah, and I forgot, the roll number on this is 6195. Yeah, I, I, I particularly like that number. So I got that. I mean, right now, it's not even, the roll number's not set on the decoder. Um, again, I hardly ran this thing. I just took it out of the box when I first got it and just run it. I didn't run very far, and again, the video was so crappy. I mean, I was going to post it, but then I changed my mind. So, four years later, this this engine finally gets some light. Finally gets some light. I want you to take a closer look at the detailing on this thing. So, you get an idea of how well... Um, Broadway do they stuff. Real cold load, by the way. So, people, that's about it. Uh, my viewing of the 4464 Q2 roll number 6195. And I hope you enjoyed this um, video. My video's been actually pretty long lately. Um, it's kind of in competition with Railroad Kid. Shout out to Railroad Kid. Haven't heard from that boy for a while. <laughs> and I mean, he, I'm sure if you see this video, he'll enjoy this because he loves steam. But everybody have a good night. And this is... Um, actually, it's going to be the 4th of July tomorrow, so anyone who celebrates uh, 4th of July, happy 4th of July. Uh, 
Peace out. Actually, one more thing. What I failed to mention is the future plans and the actual per reason why I purchased this model. Um, me and my uncle had an idea to do various excursion services, not just um, UP and BSNF, which we are mainly modeling. But, you know, we decided to do something else. We decided to do excursions of the Pennsylvania like our own very own type of excursion service um, um, also I'm doing in New York Central I actually have the Dreyfus and I may take that out as well and do a overview on that engine uh, but yeah that's basically what I'm planning with this um, I probably made it with a diesel engine um, when Broadway comes out with their the Jivo series and they are coming out with the um, uh, I guess the, the Pennsylvania version of one of the NS Heritage um, diesels that is going to be made it with this and I do have some of the cars um, Walter cars um, just have made it for the time being I mean the other Walter cars the new ones that are out now they are super expensive I mean you're talking like over a hundred dollars now for one passenger car I mean man times are changing things are getting very very expensive um, yes it has lights and all that kind of jazz but I mean to me it's still not worth that much money that's I mean if you get a whole set like at least 12 cars you're talking about over twelve hundred dollars ouch yeah it's gonna look awesome yes but it's just I don't know this hobby is getting incredibly expensive I thought RC's were expensive uh, but not compared to this this hobby is really really getting expensive and it's harder harder and harder to keep up I mean I'm trying my best you know to come out with some more content something a little bit more interesting something different than what other people um, come out with so I mean oh, let's see what happens the future is never set so again have a good evening, happy 4th, and peace out.